because it has the potential to lift millions of people out of poverty. But it could also be the dangerous spark that ignites a whole new conflict in the region. Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia are at odds over who controls the world's longest river. The fight for the no. planet. This is the largest dam in Africa. So large it has its own classification. It's a mega dam. Once complete, it will produce over 5,000 megawatts of electricity, more than double Ethiopia's current output today. And its reservoir will hold 74 billion cubic meters of water. The numbers here don't get any less overwhelming. The dam itself is made of 10 million cubic meters of roller compacted concrete and is set to include two power stations, three spillways, and a saddle bank. The main dam itself will be 145 meters deep and 1.7 kilometers long, while the saddle dam supporting the main structure will be an astonishing 4.8 kilometers long by 45 meters high. There will be two outdoor power stations on either bank of the river, with the capacity to generate roughly 2,000 to 3,700 megawatts of power. The first step on the journey to build something as enormous as this kind of sets the tone for the rest of the project, the casual diversion of the Blue Nile River in 2013. Now, as dramatic as that sounds, it's actually pretty common when building dams. Here's how it works. Most dams are built over rivers, but to pour concrete you need a dry working area. So diversion channels or tunnels are formed around the side of the dam's location for the period of its construction. If you go through hard rock, then explosives are normally used to clear a path, while soft soils and rocks are excavated. Once there's a dry space for workers, foundations are laid. They have to be strong enough to withstand the weight of the dam and the enormous water pressures acting on them. As we said, the Renaissance Dam will be 145 metres deep, almost the height of a skyscraper. And that 74 billion cubic metres of water behind it will create a lot of pressure. Those foundations absolutely cannot leak, so the soil and the rocks on the ground below the dam have to be strength tested and are sometimes removed and replaced with stronger materials. Once the dam is... Thank you. 